Hello and welcome back to Podcast on Wheels, episode 24. I keep messing that up. My bad. Um, but today we are talking about a fun day we had today. Because as you know, this is the starting Christmas of Christmas Day. I'm so excited. Um, which I'm just beyond excited because it's Christmas Day. Like, we go, we go back to college on June fucking 3rd. We have... We have 13 days off, almost half a month to hang out with you guys, to talk with you guys, and just have a blast. Now, normally we would have, like, we would probably start filming a podcast around 4.30. It's 1.57, we got out around 1 p.m. 12.30, and then came um, home around 1. Yep, um, which is great um, that we have more time to get everything out the way, do laundry and everything like that, and just have the time to act, excuse me, to actually sit down yeah. and relax. Um, to be done with the full podcast, it's going to be 2.57. Damn, almost 3 p.m. Do you see how much time and effort this <laughs> takes us to do for the five days till Christmas, if we can, we'll try to get out a podcast every day. Probably not Sunday, I'm sorry about that, because we're going to our grandma's house, Maybe on Christmas morning, was it? I think on Christmas morning we were going to our grandma's house and mm. we are opening presents, so we're probably not going to do a podcast on Christmas, but we're going to show a vlog and how many fucking gifts we got. Do you think <laughs> we should do a podcast in advance to upload on Christmas? Uh, no, because we're going to have like a documentary no, uploaded on Christmas and everything. She's been eating Takis and yogurt mixed. Mm-hmm. It's actually not bad. <laughs> no, but I wanted to, like, maybe record an extra one so we can actually do... Not the today. No, 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 not today, but obviously when we do have a chance or a break, mm-hmm. we can film, like, two, like a, a podcast here and there in the middle of the night and then upload it December 25th, 6 a.m. in the morning. That, did you notice? Or 6 Did you notice? Doc ha- still has her Christmas hat on, and we have lights, like... Instead of just the regular lights on the background, we have Christmas lights. Which is something yep. I did all by myself. Yep, so we have like a holiday festive background for, for the, the last next... five podcasts of this year. Ah, uh, so oh my god! Not technically of this year, I but know, like... I'm so fucking excited for <laughs> New Year. I'm for a video to say 2024. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> you don't know how horrible 2023 has been for us. But to start a new fresh year and hopefully not go anywhere, I'm so fucking excited for 2024! <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Like, call me overreacting. I don't care. But we almost have half a month off school and college. And I don't have to do no homework, no math, no work, nothing. I get to do podcasts. I get to do vlogs. I get to hang out with my husband. It's awesome. I get to hang out with my wife. I get to hang out with with my friends, and Big Don woke up today, ah, oh, it's so awesome, and he was at the pep rally with us, because we had like a little Christmas pep rally thing, we had games, music, tickets, those tickets were great, and I met one of my old friends that I met with one of the special testing rooms, we were with Miss, we were, we were with Miss Kearns, and I met him down, again, down like, I met you on the SATs, when we were, 10th graders, meaning we were sophomores in college. Now we're juniors in college, so it's been about a really long while. So, surprise, the juniors did not get the SAT. Uh, we didn't take the real SAT test yet. Maybe I'm not other half of the year. Oh, boy, am I excited for that. And then after we come back, there might be only 10 days after hanging out with our first semester. People, it sucks because my friend Floor is there. Oh, damn it. And... Yeah, but, and then I'm going to have all the hard classes, oh, like English, history, and Spanish one with Mr. Henson. Spanish one. Mr. Henson. Uh, I, yeah. I freaking hate Spanish. When I took that, or when me and Amy took it, we hated it so much to the point we just hated it. 
I know that his sarcastic his sarcastic ah. attitude ah. his ah. it's you know, just roasting his fucking penis. I know, but it's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I love how she does. No. The penis is nice this year. Yes, <laughs> our class was actually pretty good. So. No, but. Emmy had horrible handwriting, and yeah. so do I. I don't really care. But he said, Emmy, how do you read this? And, like, just all this stupid stuff. And yeah. people, I had so many sassy girls in there, like, five? Five on top of a crummy attitude, uh, and on top of Spanish, which I don't even know. I don't fucking know Spanish. I know. Oh, I call my ass so, and something like that. It was just super dumb. I hated that class, but I somehow passed it and was able yep. to take the... I think I took the final exam, but I only had to take the speaking bit, I think. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't. So I didn't fail. Cause, I didn't uh, want to fail we, his class. I'm not taking no. a 200 person exam. No, we really, we really had to really sort out all my absences from all my appointments and why I was off. Like, yep. literally, I remember my mom checked our uh, journal yep. thingy like, and, like, that figured, that okay? well, she didn't have an endocrinologist appointment here. It wasn't one of Donnie's therapies, no. was it? N none of those in the, in the matter. And we're like, okay, well, there's no reason why she was off February 14th. I mean, hell. yeah, so that has never been... A, a, like you know solved but we were able to get it down and get yep. it done and I was able to have unexcused absences dad called the eye doctor yep. dad called the endocrinologist to make them email the notes again because somehow I didn't turn them in even though Donnie literally witnessed me turning and one they, in like, like, he was yeah, like yeah like, yeah they said oh you didn't that didn't turn in any of the notes I'm like are you sure because I didn't write so ass turn in two notes what do you mean? Like, I said, hey, I'm going to the office to do this in. Okay. I said, okay. And I saw her driving over there. I'm like, what's Yeah, up? so I just find that uh, oh, yeah. and I hated Spanish so much. Yeah. Um, but it was nice at the end of the year. I liked the food day. It was fun. Oh, I could get the food day. Yeah. Oh, that's the only thing I'm looking for. <laughs> To, I'm just trying my best to know, and honestly, I think I'll get used to it. It's just that I'm kind of dreading it right now. Like, you know how I was dreading Miss Peters, but I've been getting through her class for four months now, and I'm good, and I've done all my work. I have a high B in there, like a low B, but like, if, she said, if you keep up that grade, you will not have to take the final exam. I'm like, yes, I, and I think I'll have to take the math exam. I don't, I, I know damn well I don't have to take the art exam, the science exam. Jim doesn't really have a, maybe a 10 questions exam. I probably won't have to do that one. So if I am unlucky, I would only have to take one math no. exam for one day. I will survive. Final exam is the math. Ah. Uh. We literally have to beat our math. Fuck. And I suck at power clean maxes. Ah. Uh. Then you won't get like a 400 on it, but you'll probably get a good grade in knowing you. Mm -hmm. I do not know that. Oh, I have one training fucking hell next semester on top of those hard classes. Good luck with that. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Feels like I've done, like, gained nothing. I'm so, like, I'm so dreading second semester, honestly. I'm yeah, and I had Mr. Henderson. Jim. You rather have Jim? Oh, be careful! Don't chuck them, cause then you got spicy dust in your eye. I got spicy tattoo dust in my eye, like back in 2019 or something. So like almost five years ago. God damn! My name. <laughs> back in my day. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, this back Christmas. Back in 1960. Yep. This Christmas, I will be turning 64 in the new year, which, oh my fucking god, I'm going to be ancient, I'm joking. You know what's crazy, this Christmas, I'm going to be turning 74. <laughs> <laughs> 74, Jesus! I'm going to hit 64. And my, and my wife, Kimmy, is going to be 82. Oh, 82? I know. What the fuck? I'm getting 62 away from 80. <laughs> You've been eight years difference between her. 
No, I'm not just over the edge. I'll be 64! There's almost a 20 year difference between us. If I'm 34, my brother will be 67 or 68. Huh? He's my age. Yeah, he's 55 now. Because we're only supposed that to be 66. That means he'll be 65. Six year difference, so no, I'm break. done. You're adding the 12 years. Mm-hmm. On Easter and August is our first and second birthday. But I was adding the 10 years, so I'd be 64. But I'd be really 66 by the end of the 2024 year. You're nasty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How well, many chocolates did you eat? Four. Four bags? What? She ate, she lay sat in one hour and ate four bags of Takis. Not the big family size bag, I meant the mini bags, but damn. I didn't even touch. I ate, me and Raymond ate seven or six. another bag. You finish off this pudding. Okay, then grab you another bag. Okay. Okay, so, um. <laughs> we're gonna talk about today and stop getting the other rants because it's 207, so we literally wasted like 10 minutes of your time talking about random stuff, so I'm sorry about that, um, but we're going to talk about some other stuff now, uh, what we basically experienced today. So, in the morning, we just get up, we open our advent calendar, um, and it's just fun, mom seemed like she was in a good mood and everything, and then, um, we go on the bus, and she's like, Merry Christmas, I was like, Merry Christmas, you know, whatever, and I get off the bus, and we're just chilling, and we get to say hi to JJ this morning, the special needs kids, and he was showing me how fast he was going around the table, I was like, whoa, because he has a manual chair, I have an electric chair, yep. so if JJ uses a manual chair, I use an electric chair, and he was showing me how fast he was going, I was like, what? And William was like, oh my god, you're doing so good. Like, it was awesome. And I saw their festive Christmas PJs. I got to watch them open some gifts with ornaments inside. And then we went, me and William went to our gym class. We waited, just sat there looking through comments and just strolling through threads and stuff like that. Wait, do you think these will taste good in yogurt? Oh my god. Uh, Jojo. <laughs> um, it's pudding actually. Um, then we love roast crackers. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't you image when you're about to eat a cracker? Will my teeth hurt? What? Huh? These are so soft like butter. I love them. Um, so, uh, and we go to the pepper, like, William forgets his headphones, now, ah, I have to run back, <laughs> and he ran back all the way to the gym class to get me and, uh, his headphones, and then, and we met our friend Floor, no, <laughs> Um, we saw our friend Floor, like, yes, we get to sit with her, oh, pet belly, ah, and we stayed there for, like, two hours, and we stayed there for, like, 25, 20 minutes before our friend Doc came in. Because we were a bit early, like really early, before the gym. Yeah, so we got to sit there and talk, and there was a bit of the microphone shut because the microphone was horrible. Um and Ooh, tell me about it. yeah, and I mean when we had our headphones on, and Florida kept asking, "Are you okay?" Because you know we have sensory issues with this this stuff, and um, I was like, "Yep, yeah, I'm okay." The room was good, and so we about. An hour, an hour in, maybe, Pet Valley. No, an hour and a half, because it was only 30 minutes of Pet Valley. Williams and I's ears were bothering us, like, from the headphones, so we were having sensory issues from the sensory blocking headphones. Uh, they just hurt the tip of our ears. I was like, ah, oh, my headphones are bothering me. I, I want to take them off, but I can't. I, that's what I thought. Oh, my God! My greatest fucking achievement of all. All the season rules. They took it off, it was loud, and at first, William was like, ah, oh! it hurt our ears, but then, we kind of got used to it. I had, me and William had to put them back on for the Robert because she was fucking screaming, in the mic, and like, ah, and then, and, and when he starts covering his ears, it's loud, and so, we put our headphones back on, we take them back off, 
We even get to singing. We even get to clapping. We even get to. No, I didn't get to the yelling, but we went to clapping. We went to dancing. We went to music. Except the music was a little loud. You could see William's discomfort on his face. But we lasted 30 minutes without our sense of headphones. <laughs> Like, yeah, like I can, so like, you're doing so good. She's like, just clench your hands. And she have her hand over my and Williams or whatever. And people keep constantly checking up on us. Making sure, like, you okay? You okay? <laughs> um, and they don't barely cover their ears for no. about three, four minutes the whole time. No. And she just lasted the whole two hours like a fucking boss. Like, she didn't cover her ears at all. I'm like, Ooh! I did. I lasted 30 minutes or 25 minutes like a boss. Let's go. Except with this camera and... a very big achievement. Because you know, like, as soon as you take them off, you'll cover your ears and yeah. won't let go. But you survived only covering your ears twice. and No, five, four times, maybe. Four times. But that's... I know. Because when I take them off... That's a big step. You know? I know. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm like... So proud of myself, and because when William took his headphones off for a second, I was like, ah! And he covered his ears and then put them back on because it was loud. Because norm this pet rally was actually quieter than the other ones. Like, the other ones were, like, screaming, Miss Roberts was talking, and I'm like, and there, I, there was no way I would be able to take off my headphones during those. That would just be too painful. But this one was a quieter pet rally, and I got through 25 minutes of it, Without my headphones, of course, covering my ears like five or four times and showing discomfort almost the whole time. But hey, <laughs> I made it. And Doc was like, huh, I don't mind. I was like, what the hell? And my friend was like, honestly, it's not that loud. I'm like, not that loud. When the babe was actually playing with the microphone, it got loud, too loud for me. But it was loud. But I got through it with some discomfort. Covering my ears a bit, but not the whole 25 minutes. I only covered my ears for 5 minutes. I lasted 20, or 25 minutes without covering my ears. I'm good. How long did I have my headphones on for that segment? Mm -hmm. Damn it. For hour 30? Yeah, and then I lasted 10 minutes with them on after. Because I had them around my ears and I... T and William took them off. So I lasted around like 20 minutes without headphones after two hours. Let's go! I made 20 minutes out of a two hour pet belly without, with discomfort covering my ears, but 20 of those minutes were not covering my ears! Yay! Except I can't cover my ears so my wife helps me. Or oh, William does, and well, he can't because he's covering his ears. <laughs> um, but more of the story, I completed 20 minutes without covering my ears, discomfort in my face, but I made it. I made it without dying or crying out in the room. <laughs> so I made it. Hooray! Look at me go. Um, Doc is just an absolute champion at that, so kudos to her for lasting two hours. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, honestly, it's not that long. I'm like, how? I will admit. One tactic I have is I've been so used to many years without getting the help of headphones. I just have them because it is physically painful. Well, it, it is too, but because I've been able to adapt throughout those many years, I think that has played a role in helping me. But of course, I clench my hands like to death. Cause like, Cause, I mean, I don't want to be covering my ears all the time because then it hurts. Yeah, my headphones are bothering me like thirty minutes in and. Rain kept adjusting his, like, ah, oh, the headphones are bothering me, and you want to take them off, but it was too painful. So you're like, okay, I'm going to take them off, and we were a little, ah, 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 that, for the whole 20 minutes, but hey, made it through. We got some of the footage of me laughing, and William, so, we did amazing. First ever pep rally, I could go five seconds without covering my fucking ears. Yeah. Yeah, I can't have them in the That's bathroom. That's what happens to me. If I uncover my ears and then I, and I'm like, oh, whoa, no. But I have to be in the room for a couple of minutes not covering my ears or a yeah. couple 30 or 20 so I can finally get used to it and only little jump scares will make me cover my ears. Yeah. 
I just don't go in the room in like a quiet, good environment in headphones. I need to be exposed to the loudness first so I can get used to it. It did. It took me over 30 minutes to summon these to it, and I still don't like that. No, no, still. no. You came in the room as a 20 decibel lower, quieter area. So you're not used to it at first because you haven't been warmed up. You yep. take them out, and you're doing this mid bolt thing. So you're like, <gasps> that's the issue. That's not really mid bolt. It's just loud. I know, but that's the issue. You don't go in the room, warm up a little bit. To I the, can. Like I it's know. Painful. I understand. I understand, but. That tactic always helps. I always clench my hands before I go in, and I always try and get used to the environment, try to look at something else so I can try to tune out the loudness, but rather than not going in with a quiet environment, and your then hat. them off. What? Your hat's so perfect on your Aww, head. Aw, thank you. Thank you, it just looks so perfect. Aw. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Thanks to Matthew <laughs> for putting that on. <laughs> You're done, Matthew. Um, so... We get done with the pet rally. My friend really has to pee, and she's like <laughs> screaming. I'm like, my God, how bad do you have to pee? And so she goes to the bathroom. And I go with her just for a moral support, I guess, because she's introverted, which is fine. Um, you went in there? <laughs> no, not in the stall. And <laughs> she said, "Ew, who the fuck didn't wash their shoes? Cause it smelled bad in the bathroom." It's all like gender bathroom, and apparently she said, "Oh, who didn't wash her shoes?" Mr. Muse's room smells like sewer water. What? <laughs> sewer water. I tell you. Yeah. Nasty. Oh, you nasty. Oh, God. Yeah. So. Uh, <coughs> so we were in Mr. Muse's class for the last hour of that day, or you know, yeah, yeah hour. hour. And we were just chilling there, and then suddenly. Every single class member starts to get the hint of sewer water. Uh, and we're like, uh, and we're Mr. Mute, and other girls went, Mr. Muse, what's that smell? And he's like, I don't know. It was getting so bad to the point that Mr. Muse was going to be sick. He's like, oh, I'm going to be sick. And he just walked. And then people sp spray perfumes, uh, which made it worse. Uh, it smelled like sewer water perfume. <laughs> uh, uh, and then it turns out that they were putting new handles on the girls' restrooms. Basically, just sewer gas they were putting new handles and new stuff on the girls restroom and it was, the sewer gas was going up into the vents and into our room what the fuck because <laughs> ah! it's hard to do any construction like that when to not produce a smell so that was basically the sewage gas going into our room what the fuck I don't know. I don't know why they were ch adding changes or doing stuff, but... Your tabs, instead of the automatic things, they're probably putting the tab sinks. Maybe. Pushed on and it lasts a while. Who knows? But it just created a nasty smell. Yeah. And uh, Janila had done this number guessing game and gave people cookies. I just didn't want to do a number, so I didn't get one, but I don't really mind. They were them sh soft sugar cookies. No. I already had enough candy, and I already know I'm going to get a lot over break. I don't really need one. But, yeah, that it smelled, the <clears throat> classroom smelled like sewage water, so that was really disgusting, but we're all good. <laughs> what? I'm eating. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's awesome. I remember in th in approximately three more days, Donnie is going to start speaking. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, woohoo. <laughs> ah. In approximately three more days, Donnie is going to start speaking, and in five more days, the documentary will be released. Yep. So, awesome. I'm speaking. So freaking yeah. excited because we created this documentary, the crew, the... Um, the director, the, the, the directors, <laughs> oh yeah, no, the directors created this whole documentary for Donnie because we thought, hey, it's important, we need everyone to know about his coma story rather than yep. a 21 minute video explaining all of that, and if things sound fake or weird, we do apologize in advance because we do not know how it sounded like, and in, in all, in, all in the end, it was super fun, and we had it in the documentary short because we didn't get a lot of footage to, like, properly do the whole thing, and he got yeah. cut off, uh, like, because you came in. So, uh, so he, 
<coughs> Sorry. So I normally do secrets of things behind my back. And I mean, I come in on the now, so like, ah, the stuff is up, it's up. And then, yeah. Yeah, because. They done a whole damn documentary with all me knowing. There was footage, there was clips, oh, there was oh, rolling oh. clips, there was all this during one bath. We, we, we only filmed a couple clips, the little picture clips, um, only wow. two days apart. And we created the whole rest of the ten minutes while you were in the bathroom with footage, high quality editing, and all this stuff, so. Wow, you really get a lot on my bath. Oh, yeah, sorry. But, uh, yeah, it was super fun, super cool. I uh, cannot wait for y'all to see it, because I think it's my most high-quality edited video. I've never seen it. I've never clicked on the video. I see it scheduled, <laughs> and I can click on it any time. <coughs> be loyal and not fucking click on it. Because it is scheduled <laughs> for us right now. We can view it, uh, but we're not going to, because yep. I haven't seen the documentary yet. I mean, I did see it. I did hear it a little bit, but never really fully seen it. Yep. And you, on the other hand, have not even seen a bit. You don't know what it's about. Obviously, I you know. know it's about, no, you I obviously. Saw a picture, but like that's what you showed me. Not... Yeah, like a picture, but then yep. the rest of it is eleven minute long. There's like messages from the crew. There's uh... him explaining if he remembers. There's all this stuff, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it out in the world and have his story dashed I'm abroad. So if y'all guys if we do not upload a podcast or we do not get out a vlog okay? Yeah like oh god. I found type of busy. Not yes, busy. not bad. But li listen, so if we do not vlog that day for some odd reason we will uh, most likely. But if yes. for some odd reason we don't film we're just enjoying the day, we there will already be a scheduled 11 minute documentary for y'all to watch of Donnie's coma and all this other stuff. Do you want to speak? Yes. Uh, um, yeah. That's uh, my daily catch up. Okay. So, welcome back everyone to podcast on where I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> How weird. Like, we introducing you after we're like 30 minutes. 20 minutes in. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, I'm saying, I was. <laughs> I got told down for snack packs, so we go down there, um, because we were just watching a movie and doing, like, ugly sort of drawings for Miss Peters, like, she's like, no, I'm not that teacher to give you work before I can make, and then, see, Miss Peters is cool, because soon said, are you giving me, are you giving us work, and she's like, no, and she had that look in her face, like, girl, why would I give you work, and then Quintana said, yeah, Miss Peter's cool, and she said, thank you, like, oh my god, and I was like, I was like, thank you, <laughs> and we clapped his hands, because um, we had no work for that day, um, so we just chill there, watch a movie, I get called to snack packs and stuff, and I get candy canes from Mr. Melvin, and then I say bye to Miss Calica. I see her in her room. I'm like, bye, Miss Calica, and she gives us hugs. She gives us me and women hugs and stuff. She's like, do you want this um boba dragon fruit mix? I'm like, uh, sure. I've never tried it, and I get, and William has a little trouble gripping the straw, he wants for to help him with it, like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> and when he saw that straw is extended, he was like, <gasps> <laughs> he was so happy, he was so cool, uh, it was so cool, and they're like, yeah, once you get the boba balls in the straw, just suck them up, and they, they were like, super, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> 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 boba balls, Say boba balls next time about balls. That's what I said, boba balls. Oh, I just heard the balls there. Like, hey, <laughs> so we sucked them up. Hey, yeah. Okay. William Bing. <laughs> oh my god. And my husband's standing right there and it felt a little awkward. <laughs> um, but the boba balls <laughs> were like. They said they'd be squishy and not choke here. I'm like, and when one went in my mouth. Oh, it boasted, like, it boasted, <laughs> but, like, not in a choking way. <laughs> like, like, I was like, whoa, it felt so cool. It tasted pretty good, and I finished the whole drink. It felt like I couldn't suck up the rest of them. <laughs> the balls. <laughs> Why? From the bottom of the cup. There's literally no liquor level. I could not suck them up, okay? I can't suck the baby balls. <laughs> She's giving me an odd look, like, Donnie. Do you know what they're originally called? 
Baby Boss? Oh, no, no. Cap Cocoa Boss. <laughs> Cap Cocoa Boss? I think. Oh. They said, what flavor is the ball is? I'm like, um, I don't know. Because it didn't say on the drink. They're like, yeah, you could get different types of balls. <laughs> And they went, Izzy and Floyd went to the store all the time at Zoo School or something. I don't fucking know. At some place. And they get boba and milk tea. I'm like, what? Miss Calicut just gave me a random type of boba drink. And it tasted pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And I drank the whole thing except the bottles at the bottom. I got some bottles, but I didn't get out of the bottles. You're right, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> not my husband! <laughs> no! I love him, but damn. Oh, hell no. <laughs> the way they just rephrase that, this is all. You don't want his balls? We're on a damn podcast, so. Um, so, that. Um, anyway, um, that was basically my day. Like, then I tried the burger with ranch. <laughs> the school burger with ranch. No. It tastes bland and shit. Cardboard? Nope. Cardboard would be that. Yep. Anyway, Doc, you want to talk about your day? Wait. She's eating. We'll wait for 20,000 minutes. What the fuck is that? Like, damn, that's a badass stuff today. Sorry, my bad. The fuck? Knocks on her sixth bag. What do you mean, six? I thought you already ate four. I had one more. I'm going to my six. This is just six bags of Takis? Mm hmm. The hell? Now, you got. Ooh, you're going to have a large poop later. <laughs> she ate six bags of spicy chippies. Um. That doesn't sit well. Especially the crumbs. Oh, damn. Okay, Doc. Doc, you are asking to have the worst. Uh oh. Now we're thinking about If I had that many bags, barely on all three days, I'm like, honey, I need to go to the bathroom. Yes. Please. If I had that, I'd be like that in about well, an hour. none of your beds. Damn. Uh, doc. Up, uh, girl. <laughs> damn. Damn, you just watch on the Oh, shit. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. That was not me. That was loose in the back. <coughs> Hit me, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, you nasty. Was that was <coughs> last night's podcast. <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was super funny. But I'm going to talk to you guys about my day. So this morning, me and Matthew were devoted to film a lot more than we normally do because me and Matthew have a channel called Autism and Disabilities. And we have not uploaded in a month. And we have not uploaded in one month. And yep. for those of you who already watch the channel who or who don't, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all probably will know or now know that we normally upload every week or so, even on busy weeks. But surprisingly today... Or not today. We found out that we had not uploaded in approximately 30 days. And for us to pick up the camera so many times and never even film once is so dumb. And our vlogs were not even good. So we're trying to put out high quality, better ones at least. Not the greatest, but gooder ones that we think like are better for, you know, us. In our opinion. And hopefully are better for y'all guys to watch since... You know, y'all just get some boring, crappy ones um, that are about eating. <laughs> so, not really, like, festive or good yeah. vlogs ever. So, we are devoted to try and upload more. Yeah. Uh, I don't know when we're going to actually start it. Maybe this week, maybe and next week. minutes, it'd be an hour. Mm-hmm. What the? <laughs> so, 
we are trying to be devoted to this and actually try and stick with this rather than just, you know, saying, oh, we're going to actually do this, goes through one day, does not upload ever again. Because I feel like in a way we have failed the channel because we used to be, like, super active on it. We loved creating videos, but they were crappy videos, but they were at least some videos. And, you know, we had clips involved. We had actual things rather than just sitting down and talking about it, kind of like a podcast. But it was a horrible one, if you know what I mean. It wasn't good audio, it would constantly, like, be uh, laggy, or... Exactly, and oh, you didn't have a good setup, either. No, we did not. Like, it would fall, kind of like what SMA Vlog started out as, but now we literally got so much better. We're creating podcasts, we're creating videos. Sure, they're not the most high-quality videos. But, like, what do you expect from us? So, like, great on the channel. We have those... Every day. And they're actually well podcast. constructed vlogs. I mean, yes, there are a butt ton of screen recordings, and I hate that. Yeah, but I wish, I wish they were not that long. I wish we never uploaded them. Um, but in my opinion, but I like our more higher quality vlogs, like a well put together vlog. You know, it doesn't end off on a weird note. Sometimes it does, and we yep. do apologize to that. But there's no proper outro in autism and disabilities. Yep. There's just these crappy vlogs they end off somewhere we yep. never started again we say hey part two is going to come soon we never do part two that what gets me the most uh -huh. <clears throat> we're not being true on what we used to do and uh -huh. and how we uploaded it and all that stuff we don't even have a proper description wow we have yesterday's podcast got seven views wow, wow. thank you so much for all the love on there thank you so thank much you for so all much. the love on the first festive holiday episode that we are doing because yep. i want to do this tradition every single year for the last five days until christmas we do little festive holiday podcast or make it a festive theme because after in 2024 this setup won't be here so huh this setup will not be here like the christmas lights the christmas hats will oh, not be here because yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I but look no no no, no. <laughs> but no um we're not going to be wearing christmas hats in 2024 or having lights up uh, of course our original setup is always going to be here but i'm super sorry for the first festive episode there was no christmas lights i might just do the thumbnail with christmas lights if that makes it better yeah. um for festive episode number one but this is festive uh -huh. episode number two yep. for the last five days of christmas we tried to aim to get festive episodes out for the last five days of christmas and we want to make this a yearly tradition because who knows we might not do festive things but we'll make it festive yep and talk about christmas and what we're mainly excited about and you know all these cool stuff that i think are pretty cool in the fact yep. like hey we're gonna be having this and this but for right now for the festive theme on what we're going to be doing is i'll be wearing a christmas hat someone will be wearing a christmas hat and we'll have some festive lights in the background making it a little bit more christmasy uh, -huh. uh yep. you know christmas delighted delightedly and something we're gonna make it more christmasy in the room so you yep. know when you guys are watching this at whatever time you're like hey it's super close to christmas <clears throat> They're doing podcast episodes that are, you yep. know, Christmassy themed, and we like that. So, this is one of our traditions. We've never done it, so we're just starting it now. Super excited to do it maybe next year when our yep. channel becomes like, literally a year old. Uh, cannot wait. Um, but, like, that, I just find that super cool in general. Yeah. Like, you know, woohoo, we're getting super far into this journey and we're already like three months from podcasts i cannot believe yeah, we've I, been I, doing I, podcasts I, for three months oh my god like our podcast journey has been going on for three months i seriously i mean i already have 24 wonderful episodes like Oh no, I'll tell you, we had like a bunch more. We but had like 27. We, we had 20. Ten minute videos. Yeah, we had 27 10 minute podcasts. We have 24 1 yeah, hour exactly episodes. Exactly one hour. There are some that are 30 minutes. 38 minutes. minutes 40, that's much better than 10 minutes. That takes a lot more time than just 10 minutes. We could get four episodes done in like a little podcast. Yeah, four episodes. Almost five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Our podcast episodes are longer. They're like natural, normal podcasts, like 20, 30 minutes. That's what we consider a podcast, 30 minutes or more. 36, so we yep. have to find something to talk about to actually 
actually hit like an hour. No, this doesn't have to be an hour no, if you don't want to. No, we like hit an hour because we haven't done an hour podcast in quite a while. No, time. no, no. Here, Two weeks, maybe. Um, I think the one last night was like 48 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Your thing got seven views. Uh huh. Five hours ago. Woo-hoo. Yep. That's something I filmed yesterday and just uploaded like five, six hours Is that, ago. W- was that the draft? No. Oh. Uh, this was 48 minutes, this was 54 minutes. Uh, oh my, the last time we done an hour podcast was two weeks ago. Yep. And I liked the hour podcast, because we were so good on this week. Hold up. Thank you. So, look, these are so good. I'm seeing so much hour podcast. One hour, six minutes. One hour, 21 minutes. One hour, 24 minutes. One hour, 14 minutes. One hour, 29 minutes. Did you hear me? One hour, minutes, one look, hour. look, all in one, two, three, four, I think we've done five episodes in a row that were more than an hour. Wow. Like, we were so devoted during this no, time. But- I don't know why, but we were literally like, bam, 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 so devoted during that time of like season, t- like 20 years. Ever since we started season three, we have not made a, no, season two, we have not made an hour podcast. Wow, our only episode 21 was 32 minutes. Like, how little that was. Because it was in the morning, and we were, yeah. yeah. So we apologize for that short podcast on 21. But we have been sucking so far at, you know, creating more episodes into season 2. Because uh, we started season 2 two weeks ago, and And we've only created 4. But in the past... Three months, that's a little bit bad. Three months, one, two, we created like 20 episodes in three months. No, like, it took us two months. We're half, no, go ahead. Okay. We're half a month in to season two. Damn. We're half a month into season two, so and we already. Three months, two weeks, we produced 20 episodes, and I really want to, like, you know, bam, bam, like, create more so fast. Yeah, I... How are we four episodes in when we're only episode 23? Because we had that one segment spot? No. Episode 20, episode 21, episode 22, episode 23. Mm-hmm. There was another part that we had there. There was a section that was episode something. We had no. to upload the separate part because I accidentally no. turned it off. Or it no, turned off. not this. In season three. No, season two, we have four episodes. Click on it, what? Come here. 20, 21, 22, 23. That makes sense. Then what the hell? 20? Yeah, I know. Was the beginning. Why do we have four? That makes too many. 20. Yeah. That's four. I know. You're strong. Okay, but you look, seem so confused. Because you say, why do we have four episodes in season two? Because I was confused at first. Because we started in season episode 20, anyway. It's 20 episodes in. So 20, 21, 22, 22. Four episodes in. So. Um, I have to keep up with her sometimes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Our most popular. Pro- this one got 20! Yeah. The first episode of the season 10. Yeah, because Amy and Doc got married. Oh, that's so awesome. Um. Oh, this was episode 19. This was one. Um. Yeah, one episode before the season 2 started. Yep, but our most viral episode. It's our first in one. Season 2 was 7 views. My first episode was our most popular. Yeah, and it was like so crappy. It like, was so bad. No microphones, no, no pretty background, not the text in the middle, not us all grouped together. No. Do we have the background? Uh, let me see. 
Go back to season mm. episode one? No. We just had two wooden backgrounds. Two barely. And then look, you wanna see it? We were on camera fully. Let me hear the audio. Play the audio. See, there was no microphone. Yeah. I was further away. There was no like special team yeah. or anything. But yeah. now our podcasts are averaging three. Yeah, it all it all happens. Yeah. First time the channel you get amazing, and then you just trying to get yeah, I don't know the same amount of views all the time. The, our quadriplegic videos get so big. I don't know. That's really yeah. a problem. When I was showing them the way I, the new way I peed, like catheterizations, that got like mm, 52 views, something. That's a our lot. Our analytics of our podcast have been 51 views, 325% more, 1.1 watch hours. Like, we've gotten 13 views on our podcast in the last. 48 hours, so either some got extra views. Ooh, or, nice. Uh, I don't know. Or the 7 views video yesterday. Like, I'd pop- 52 views is going up, and. Mm-hmm. We got 9 returning viewers, 9 uh, viewers, and 1 subscriber. Wow. I 9 do. returning viewers. So Thank you cool. to the 9 people who return to our podcast. And actually want to listen. Thank you so much. Now that means the world to us. Um, that we at least make something different for one person. It can't be like, if it's a million, that's great. If it's one person, it's great. Like, if we change the world for somebody, we're happy to do it. If we change the world for a million people, we're still happy to do it. If it's only one person by our side, I don't mind. But I want to say an announcement. We are 198 subscribers. You realize we almost have 200 subscribers. Y'all are insane. Like, what the hell? Y'all, we're two people away from 200 people. Like, you mind, that may seem very little on the YouTube world. Hey, that's 200 people by your side every single day. No matter how much you upload, no matter how many times you put out effort and work, you have 200 people by your side. That's awesome. Thank you guys so freaking much. Did you want to say anything else? Mm-mm. No? But, I really want to make an announcement. They're not, I told you this before. I know, but, I'm in our first hour episode. Okay, um, then, go ahead, talk. Because I, I, hmm. I'm in the talk. But, but I have no idea what to talk about. That's the issue. And we want to make it an hour. And, and obviously, when we don't even try to make it an hour, we just talk so much to the point that we make it an hour 30, an hour 29. I'm like, how do we do that? Exactly. How can we sit on our ass, talk to a microphone for an hour and a half of our day? That's a while. That's a really long time. And I hope people recognize that. Like, every week podcast episodes are so hard. But we're trying to do five episodes in the next five days which is so many new episodes oh my like, god <laughs> we normally upload two to one a week that's our normal uploading schedule for podcast wise yeah, yeah but we're doing five, five. and even on lucky weeks days. which for us insane. that's crazy because we're like wow we need to pump out five podcasts in the last five days and if you don't understand that's very hard because when we get below 30 minutes we're like oh man that was not a good podcast that's practically just like a video to us but obviously not mine because jesus donnie just goes ham on uploading so fast so much and we've all been super excited for christmas i literally cannot wait like uh-huh Waking up on that good Christmassy feeling, seeing, <laughs> see, seeing the parents like, hello, get, Merry Christmas, and our stockings all giddy and excited, and we're just like, <gasps> we wake up half asleep, but so excited inside, we're like, why, why am I not showing it? I love it. And then we just open all these gifts, and then we come to our room knowing it's over, but we're like, it's so fucking fun, I can't wait for next year. And, and, you get to your and we're like, oh, whoa, awesome. we get to open the booster packs, we get to do all this stuff, and, like, it's just so fun. Literally so fun. 
I find it fun at least. So right now it's 2.45 and uh, we're getting close to like 50 minutes or so. So that's pretty good, but I really want to make it in an hour. We only need to make it till probably 3 o'clock just to be safe. But let's talk about advent calendars calendars sorry so advent calendars we got this advent calendar december December. that's the first day november 30th on that night yeah 31st i think 30 i don't know um but then on that on the next morning we got to open the first day which was like a glaceon v promo and ever since then we've just been been getting a lot of fun packs cards Uh and neat stuff um i i think it's gonna be like a card Uh, or did we already open that i don't feel anything either it might be a fun pack or a normal pack it feels like wait let me see see what Oh, she's. What the hell? That looks like a fun pack. I don't know, but you could easily be right. I hope it's a normal pack. I'm so tired of opening the fun pack. You're so tired, what do you mean? I mean, yes, they're like cool and good to open, but this is a normal booster pack. Just give you that great feel. <laughs> no, you can't really decide what. I don't know what they're talking about. Huh? <laughs> 47. I really just want to get through the printing stuff so we already know because it's been postponed of three days. And when I did get my, oops, when I did get my printed photos, they were too no, small. Too small. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the photos turn out good. So big. And this one? How big it is. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't get in my bed! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Your elbow probably is like I'm with my leg. I got Yeah, he's so little. But I'm glad I have the photo and it's bigger than. I'd rather have it bigger than small. You know what I mean? So, woohoo, it's 2.48. Is it booty half tall? No. Okay, never mind. I thought you said that. I was just like, no. I'm like, uh, How dare you? I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, we really hope to do the color printing soon, um, try and get that done, and try and get that figured out so we can do it on our own, because I'm so tired of relying on people to do it, because they, either they, do, they don't do it, but Miss Blakely, I'm super happy that she tried and did yeah. it her best, thankful for that, but they were just a little bit too small, and that's fine, I'm not, I wasn't mad at her, I was like, oh, okay, but thank, I said, thank you anyway, I wasn't gonna be a mean, I don't know. Can it? Ah, oh, there's a roller. Wait, enjoy ASMR. You're kidding What? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need the photos at least like, I'm gonna go safe and do seven inches and a half. I'm as ass- Cause I'm short. <laughs> I'm as say d- to dad, just do the image as long as you can until it li- until some of it cuts off. I know. I'll just say, try to get that, the image of seven inches. No, inches. because I don't want the images to be seven inches, and then the whole image is not actually seven inches, and then it just cuts off. I'm like, ooh. I'll try to explain to you as best as we can. Because the person... The person? What? The nigga and... Me and Tyler is like six, seven inches. I don't know. I'm short, okay? Me and what? Me. I'm like entirely like six or seven inches. Oh, it's 2.50. Only officially seven more minutes until we maybe hit an hour or 59 minutes. I don't care if it's only 59 minutes. That's basically an hour. But it's 2.50. Don't get mad at us if our podcast is like 58, 59 minutes. Not. 
Why are you doing ASMR in this rich striker? Nobody needs to do that. If you're an ASMR channel, don't worry, I'm not doing fucking ASMR. I just can't do it well. This is my first time. Relax. Sorry. Relax. Wait, I'll be like, relax. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fucking Voldemort. Voldemort. Relax. <laughs> Oh, oh, I've never been this out. Everybody sign off the podcast. <laughs> Everybody just leave. Like, oh my god. No, I'm joking. Please don't actually. <laughs> if you want to leave, I'll, by all means, just leave. Like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 no, creepy and horrifying. <laughs> Moving on. Creepy and horrifying. Hello? Don't ask me I had to check on my pants right now. Did you speak for the last six months? Please, I've been speaking for like a long time. Really? I'm like, uh-huh. I mean, you've been switching it off, but I've been like, you know, holding up this podcast by some random conversations or weird things or something like that. Yep. And you said, fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. We got like five minutes. I don't want to sit here in silence for the last five minutes. Um, let's talk about sleeping meds. Dazepam. Update on Dazepam. I have been taking Dazepam for the last three or four or five days. Maybe three days. Um, and it's been working for three days now. I've got to go to bed and have a normal sleep. For me, all my life. Ever since I was 38, that has been a struggle for me. Insomnia, depression, things that weren't allowing me to go to sleep. Including... San Felipe Syndrome. San Felipe... Damn, I forgot I had that. What <laughs> the fuck? San Felipe Syndrome. I have San Felipe... San... Oh my god. San Felipe. <laughs> San... <laughs> oh no. San Felipe... Syndrome. That doesn't sound right. Syndrome. That allows me not to sleep. And we've been trying to find a med that would actually work for more than a day. And we found one. That's the pen. If they need to boost it up, they will boost it up. Right now, I'm on 10 milligrams right now. And it's been working every single night. I've been falling asleep like a baby every single time. And I've been falling asleep so fast, and I was like, what? That's awesome, because Dazepam has been working for me, actually. It helps my fits at night, like seizures, epilepsy. I have epilepsy. I've been struggling with it all my life. Literally. It's not like the largest issue of our life. right before I go to bed, or like when I suppress, or when I relax, my seizures start coming on. Like last night, I couldn't get through, like, minutes and minutes without having seizures and tics and because that's Tourette syndrome as well. But like not not severe to Tourette syndrome mm-hmm. at all. Like you better have tics unless if it's like really, really cold or something. So like I could get through this whole podcast without a tic or a seizure. Now a couple of podcasts you sometimes heard me having like a seizure or something. Or a tic. Like I have myoclonic seizures, absent seizures or Those are some some you cannot hear, like I have yeah. just like fall back, like that's my chronic. Uh, yeah, does it's been about a year since I had a tonic chronic season, so in human year, wow. <laughs> so twelve years since I've had a oh chronic season. So well, not twelve years, but the last season I filmed was a year ago. Be- like, I'm just telling lies at that point. There's no way I'm not because remember, like. And I'll show you something, and then, like, I was having severe seizures, had to go to ICU and shit. Yeah, I remember that. That was a year ago, so I'm telling lies at this point. It's not been 12 years since I had a tonic clonic. <laughs> it's been about barely a month. But I noticed my tonic clonic seizures are going down. When did you last have one? I, I don't fucking know. My myoclonic <laughs> ones are still here, and here to say I have them every single day. I at least have, yeah. a, like, 10 or 20 seizures a day. Like absent seizures. But the good thing is they aren't like. They're scary. not bad. They're not bad seizures. They're not bad seizures, no. and they don't inflict a our neurological health or any health. In fact, I mean they make might make us a little like. Yep. Uh, like. Without you knowing, I 
does have like a tick or something, like in my head don't sideways, and you can't even tell like my sisters don't really have noise, but like I could have like a couple while filming podcasts, and you wouldn't even know. I could have a couple while filming a video, you wouldn't even know. Because obviously our face just twitches and we don't normally make sounds. Yeah, and sometimes we make sometimes sounds. Sometimes we do. Some, like. I don't know what to say. I'm not going to rephrase myself. That's weird. Okay, so, um, I do have seizures, and Dazepam has been working and helping with them at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. It's been helping me sleep and sleep. 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 <laughs> it's been helping me sleep. Um, it's just been helping me overall. I like Dazepam so far. Um, Doc, would you like to talk about your experience with Dazepam? Sure. <laughs> I put my arm on my alphabet letter. <laughs> so I've been taking diazepam ever since I was 40 years old, so about Damn. 23 years now that I, I've been taking diazepam, and I've always had like sleeping issues. My mom knows this. Yep. Oh my gosh, she knows it so well. My God. Uh, but I had always sleeping issues as a child. They never got like fixed, even no matter how much meds. I would try or do any, exactly. like, they would literally never right work, and, night. yeah, like, or a night, and then I would, like, just keep constantly waking up, but now, uh, we recently had to increase my dose, because I've been having pneumonia, and don't worry, I'm okay, as long as I'm on my meds, I'm yeah, good, we still have pneumonia. trust me, me, we are gonna be okay, don't, don't worry. worry, this we thing have... is quite common for me to have, especially in the colder seasons, because my lungs can't do anything about it, but don't worry, I'm fine, as long as I stay on my medications, and keep up with them, I'm gonna be pretty okay, so don't worry about me, trust me, but, you can worry, but you yes, don't have to worry, but you, you don't need to panic thing. over it, I'm good, but, yes, yeah, okay. Recently, recently <laughs> I've not been able to fall asleep at night, even with the 10 or the 15, or I think it was 10 or 15 MCG of diazepam, and I mean, I've been having more, s- like, I've been having seizures all night, but like, they're fine. They're, they're like the arm stretch ones, and yeah, the, oh, yeah, they're I, done, but then... I noticed myself not being able to sleep more and constantly waking up or constantly being weird, drowsy during the night, but actually never falling asleep. Really? With the Azepan? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. That's it's why the doctors like That's why the doctors recently put me on a higher dose, and I just fell asleep. And like, oh, no, nope, 30 minutes later, I woke up. But we have actually now hit an hour, so thank you guys so much for watching today's podcast on Wheels episode 24. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next podcast. Bye! Bye.